One thing the pandemic started was a desire to learn a musical instrument and guitar got a boost as uh, people were sitting at home wondering what they could do. <laughs> and one group, those uh, who served in the military saw some major benefits from playing guitar. And there's a group called Guitars for Vets and they're helping those former service members. As KCRA 3's Dave Manasheri tells us, they're in serious need of some help. Why don't I play it and you kind of tinker along. It may not look like it. So have you looked at the chords already and seen what yeah, you're working on? Yeah, it's somewhere in my mess here. I was trying to dig it up. <laughs> there it is. But for John Williams, this guitar session is more than music theory. It's therapy. It's, it's all messy. I'm sorry. Okay. A guitar is just, you know, it's, it's something, but it's something I can put in my hands. It's, you know, it's real. And to be able to actually create something, you know, and make that sound and be able to escape whatever is captivating your mind. It's just a beautiful thing. That beautiful thing helps Williams work through some of his trials and tribulations. He's done multiple tours of duty in Iraq, Egypt, Korea, even Kosovo, all part of peacekeeping missions for NATO. Missions. He's seen a lot. But when working at the VA hospital in Sacramento, he noticed something different. So I saw a lot of veterans come through and I heard about the guitar for vets. And I'm thinking, wow, that would really be a wonderful thing for me to see if I could get involved. Guitars for Vets began in 2007 with the knowledge that learning to play guitar was showing benefits for military members with post-traumatic stress disorder. They began recruiting volunteers like Scott Gayona. And you see my left hand isn't doing anything. He's been playing guitar since he was eight, but two years ago, he saw how that group was not just helping, but getting support from guitar companies. And once he started volunteering for the program, there was no turning back. The guitar takes you to a different place where you're not, you know, you might still be thinking about certain things, but I feel like the vibration that you hear playing the guitar versus hearing it is different. So being on that side of playing the instrument versus just hearing it perform to you, I think is one of the cooler aspects that we get to see, you know, that aha moment we talk about where it's like, oh, I just played that. Gayona says there are many days they hardly play guitar. The instrument is just a conduit for some to help address their issues. <laughs> and the equipment is not a problem. Guitar companies give a guitar for free to the vets who commit and show they are learning. But when I held the one they gave to me, I couldn't believe that the sound it produced. But there is a bigger problem, a lack of instructors. There'll be a vet that signs up, that puts their name in the hat to do lessons and then they won't hear from anybody for not no fault of people reaching out. There's just, you know, there isn't a person that can fulfill that need at the moment, but they won't hear for a year and then they'll get a call. I think the last student I had was on the list for eight or nine months of, you know, saying, hey, I want to do lessons and then never, never hearing anything back. Right now, close to a thousand vets want to join the Sacramento program but there are only a handful of instructors, instructors who hate turning anyone away. Williams waited for about four months, but for him, it was worth it. I accomplished this on my own. Um, yeah, that, that's just, things are gonna get better, John. And Williams hopes other veterans can get better too, if they can get more instructors at Guitars for Vets. In Roseville, Dave Manocherry, KCRA 3 News. And you can help volunteer to be a teacher. Gayona says you don't have to be an expert. It's about teaching the basics. And you can email the address you can see right there on your screen or donate money to buy a guitar for a vet at shop.guitarsforvets.org. Mm.